National Repeal Day celebrates the end of prohibition. We all know there is a cocktail for every single occasion. And Yay! we are finding the ones for today. More than one. Today we're celebrating with two different cocktails. A sweet for me and a sour for Amy. Here with more is mixologist Christine Doyson. Thank you for coming in. Thank you for having me. Okay, so how many years is this now uh, for repeal? Repeal was in 1933. Okay. I'm bad at math. Yeah. Uh, that math. Somebody do the math. Somebody, yeah. You know, 80, 80, almost 100 years ago. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. We've been yeah. we'll go. 80, 80, 80, 80, 80. Okay, okay. Thank you. 88 yes. years. We got a producer. Us. So they told us. <laughs> We've been able to. So, you know, we cheat. Okay, so what are we having today? Today, we're going to make two different cocktails one for the very intrepid home bartender or professional. Okay. okay. And one for the rest of us. Okay. The boxes. So, <laughs> we like the boxes, right? Yeah. The, these are box tails, they even call them, from okay. Drake's Organic so Spirit. So cute. But we're going to start with this one. Okay. okay. So, um, this is a a beautiful cocktail, which is served at Longman and Eagle. Okay, the steak house. That's yes. right. Yeah. Charlie Schott, who's the beverage director, uh -huh. um, designed it. It's called Akaisuna, which is Japanese, more or less, for blood and sand, which is a very classic. Um, oh. Tends to be, it's sort of a mix of sweet and savory okay. cocktail. So I uh -huh. think it should be a crowd pleaser. So it's made with Takamine, um, eight-year-old koji fermented whiskey. Koji so, fermented. Koji. So, okay. so it's Japanese um, from Japan. Okay. And it has a real strong Chicago connection, actually. Oh. Because um, Jokichi Takamine was a Japanese scientist who um, was from Japan, studied in the University of Glasgow in Scotland, so mm -hmm. became very acquainted with Scotch, went to a World's Fair to exhibit, fell in love with an American woman. They got married and settled in Peoria. Oh. In the 1890s. Funny. Okay. Um, and he discovered that koji fermentation, which is typically used to make miso and yes. mirin and soy sauce, yes. can be applied to making it, whiskey. Okay, and I know that, and I can't wrap my head around what this flavor could be. It's very umami laden. You'll, you'll okay. taste it. Um, so I'll make the cocktail and try to speak okay. at the same okay. time. Okay, go for it. You know, that's always hard. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so um, he developed what's called the Takamine process, which uses koji fermentation and applies it to whiskey. He had faced a lot of obstacles because he was going to revolutionize the whiskey business. We didn't you know, like that. You know, nobody likes that. Right. So okay. his first lab was burned down. What was that? Oh, I'm so sorry. That is. Um, a beautiful vermouth called okay. Brojo Jammy Red Vermouth. Is that sweet vermouth or dry? It's a sweet. Okay. This is a freshly squeezed orange juice. Okay. This is a beautiful cherry liqueur um, from Hotel Tango. I was like, Tango. I don't know which one is better for. Is this for me or for well, you? I don't they, know. They I all don't. have actually a sort of savory and sweet yeah. angle to them. Okay. So, um... Okay, so they burned down his place. They burned down his place. Then he was working with the Illinois Whiskey Trust. That got trust busted. <laughs> this guy never gave up. Man. Good for him. He eventually went on and made his fortune um, by isolating adrenaline. Um, but now, his this whiskey has been launched in his name. It's the first time the Takamine family has allowed somebody to use his name for oh. a commercial product. Oh, so it must be good. Um, and it's Koji fermented. Yeah, it's $99 a bottle, and oh, it's honestly oh worth goodness. every penny, in my opinion. So Wait I'll let you try I, I, He kind of glossed over some. He isolated himself? Medical adrenaline. Medical adrenaline. Oh, medical yeah. adrenaline. Medical adrenaline. Which they, like, which they like do this when your heart is stopped and That's you right. Oh, wow. That's right. And he died, one of the wealthiest men in America. And he, in fact, donated the cherry trees to Washington, D.C. Really? Oh. So it's we'll a we'll give Amy the big one. Give oh. Amy, I'll take the little one. Give Amy the big one. This is her like, thing. Like, Ruth is her thing. I, well, oh, okay. I like okay, whiskey, let's see. too. Let's cheers. See cheers. Welcome back to work. Thank you. <laughs> I was on vacation last week. Welcome back. Thank you. That's good. It's, it's, yeah, it's interesting. I well, because I can't like isolate the, the actual tastes of it with the mixes in it. it. You can taste it neat. Okay, let me just a little bit. I'm gonna test it for you, neat. We'll just take that line. Because I like, I do love a good whiskey. Okay. Do you want ice or no ice? Let's throw some ice on there. Little ice. Okay. Yeah, let's not make it any harder. It's good. Okay. I thought you. Would, okay. I would think you'd really like that. Uh, I'm, I'm waiting on front of the box. Right, okay. You know, yeah, gonna I'm a cheap date. Yeah, yeah, I'm a cheap date. Okay, so, so these. Okay. These are cocktails for the rest of us. These okay. are from Drake's Organic Spirits. Okay. They are based in Minneapolis. Okay. They were the first people to put a cocktail in a box, so it's a box tail. Box okay. Tails. This Watch is fun. Margarita. How easy this is. Now, there's see, there's a little oh, tap. Mm -hmm, a little tap. Here's the tap. Dun dun dun. dun. <laughs> They are um, USDA organic. They're oh. 
GMO, non-GMO project You two go with that. I'm, I'm really liking this. Okay, they're yeah. non-GMO project verified. They are kosher. They are gluten-free. They are vegan. Mm. So they worked very, very hard to obtain and maintain all of those um, elements, yeah. elements, which is our markers of quality. Then they also choose eco-friendly packaging. A box is obviously very light yeah. for yes, the environment. Yes, absolutely. Yes. Um, to make sort of better for you, better for the environment cocktails. Mm -hmm. Easier to carry more of them because they won't break. Yep, you can true. stack them in your closet. Yes. Ooh. And even after you open them, it'll stay fresh. They're shelf stable. So you oh. can just leave it in your closet or in the studio or in the green room. Really? Or at our in, desks. Or at your desk. That's yeah, huge. that's good. Yes. And they come in different flavors. There are all these different flavors. So there's mojito, black mojito. cherry limeade, mango punch, watermelon teeny we went with margarita because it's the newest and because you know the green for the holidays okay. but mm. they're all ready to be tapped for you what do you think? i like that watermelon teeny oh, you do i'm Let's gonna see. check it out you want right. to check it out all oh, the oh, information wait. right there on your screen so make sure folks that want to try this out themselves as well can check out the website and the social media handles as well and Thank it's you. organic so you can feel good about it, it. feel good <laughs> It's vegan. It's vegan. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. Thank you. Thank you for being here. This has been really fun.